So this is Stanley Parable. You can start from a, a, a load, it's a load, sorry, a save. Um, my, and of course, as you mentioned, my name is Media Magnet. This is the 12 ending route, uh, which basically takes us through all the funny ones. Uh, some of them are a little bit shorter than others, but yeah, so time starts when I actually start moving Stanley. I'll go ahead and load into the game now, uh, just to get that out of the way. And then we get to find out what happens when I hit go on this timer. Yep. All right. So three, two, one, and go. All right. This first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're already down eight minutes. Awesome. All right. There you go. <laughs> All right. So this, this is a game about branching paths. You'll see me going a lot of the same pathways just to get to yeah, different, different options. Uh, tips for not getting fired, really useful. Uh, there's a broom closet. The narrator doesn't like if you go in there. Now, if I've done everything right, he'll just open the door for me and I'll go through a long dialogue. If he does, oh well. And he's going to go through a long Stepping dialogue. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover oh, not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wandered in disbelief Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. The narrator doesn't like that if you kind uh, of anxiety is skip him through the story, but so he'll at least play a little bit of music moments, for us. With some calming new age music. Calm. <laughs> Something just disconnected down here, and nothing will work. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, <laughs> Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. All right. There is a bit of a skip coming up. It's nothing as fancy as what you saw in Echo. Basically, just walk on some desks and get around some platforms that are slowly moving upwards. Also, there is an achievement for in uh, Steam for speedrunning the first ending that I'm doing right now. If you can get to it in less than four minutes and I believe 32 seconds, you will get the uh, speedrun achievement. This game also has some other funny achievements like don't touch the game for two years, uh, play the game for an entire length of a Tuesday. That's an interesting one. And I did not earn them the way they the wanted you to. I just basically set the date on my computer to two years in the future and got the achievement. All right. First things first. Let's the lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What not horrible secret did this here. place hold? Stanley thought to right. himself. We'll not do that did one. Did he have the strength to find out? We're gonna do this one instead. Now the monitors jump to life, their true Maybe. nature revealed. New keyboard, Each not bore used the to it. number of go. an employee in the building. Stand I have fallen down in that pit before, it does not so have a kill plane, you will get stuck down there forever. Images on a screen. It's not fun. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This and mind control facility. The game gets a little meta at times, like uh, he mentioned, the narrator mentions being, Stanley, Stanley being the cool of someone else. Not possible. Was this but the yet you're controlling Stanley the whole time, and even the game goes so far as to show you that you are the one to in control. Accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was Man, unthinkable, no one's other new Stanley. wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation, controls so I have a little with emotions. thing with this five button here, I have to hit it, it or content, feels like it gives me good luck. Walking, uh, eating, the one time I didn't working, hit it, my computer screen all of it screen monitored little, and commanded uh, from this very place. I just and as the cold go. reality of his past began to sink in, run, Stanley decided fun. that this machinery would... I also want to note that the platform you're standing on now is not the same one as you hit the power button on which confused me a few times. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? And I was in the wrong spot there. I just wait for it to come down. Yes. 
He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many that speed run, you know, have to do is make it that power so. button and turn it off. Where had his co-workers Crazy gone? things happen if you turn it on. How had so. he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or so even power to open the door the rest of the way I can. This game is based on Source, but all those fun tricks that make speedrunning Source games really easy, like bunny hopping, that kind of stuff, no I can't do it here. So, go, what to do or how to feel? Whatever life he lives, it will be. Those look pretty out there, though. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley and that is the freedom ending done. Uh, there's 11 the more to go through. Some of them. The next one is the basically. The new I'm not going outside my office. I don't want to know this what's out there. Exactly the way. Right and that now, one's the thing one of the meant to hardest run ones in the game. And Stanley was happy. Real complex. One key to press, or and don't press it. It doesn't go through. But I'll say it's the hardest because it has killed runs before I've had a second door spawn and that door shut instead of the one I want to shut. And we're done with that but one. Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if Just a crucial outcome here. fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nah. Nothing will break me. In Just here I can be happy in the office and do forever. Nothing. Can't even I mess with the keyboard happy. anymore. Stanley waited. Where the pencil sharpener? Past. Then papers. days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. You want to throw a donation soon, to him or two? Uh, go ahead. Very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. All he right. will be told what so to do. So we got a donation now from Nappy a little bit closer. Says, "Hey, now listen." It's even closer. <laughs> here it comes. <laughs> All right, and we can throw in one more donation here from Jason. One hundred thirty-seven dollars. Con says, "Somebody get this man more donation stat." <laughs> Yeah, keep them coming in, guys. This is a uh, for a great, great cause. All right, and all right, all right. I'd like to see you get more. Here we go. All right, next donation is from when the last came to box. A set of two Ten dollars. He says, the door "Hi, meet a magnet. Hey, show that nanner who is boss." <laughs> Yet there was not a single in, person here. Throw in a couple more. Feeling a wave throw in two of more. disbelief. We got Stanley one from decided Tech to go up to his boss's dollars. office. Hello from Mag West. To a staircase, Tech Ops. Stanley walked How's the stream quality looking? Boss's office. And one more from Evie, a false of fifty dollars. Pet that Evie. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah blah blah. Dark secrets. The keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill Supreme. <laughs> so there's an even shorter uh, version of that dialogue there, where he just goes, "Here's the door. Just go." We're actually wedged under the power button or the down button there. Stanley walks straight ahead through the yeah, last door on this first, of the red uh, mind desk this control time. facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this nope, place hold? Do. Stanley thought to himself. Okay. okay. Did he have the strength to also, find out? Also, be very familiar with this room. You're going to see it a lot more times than just this. Ending them on now. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee. All fell between the desks. Stanley's co-workers. Uh, the lives of so Get many individuals and, oh. reduced to. Missed the railing. 
And here you see oh, one of the other hallways. This is the blue hallway, which what is could it mean? the second Stanley shortest decided in the to game. Go to the meeting room. So we'll Stanley came to head on back there towards the uh, doors. He entered the door on his left. Uh, everything blows up, ending. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a way of the disbelief, Stanley decided to go there. up to his boss's office. Hoping he might for coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. All right, and let me have time for one more donation. Got one from Here's Lane, the door, five dollars. That's a long time donor, first time watcher in real life. Good luck to all the runners. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I'm just gonna play it safe this time and wait for the lift. I don't really want to fall back down there again. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? <laughs> nah, not like No, that. he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even so possible? Up as the, uh, had he truly the spent his entire life the whole utterly blind up. to the world? Um, Taking Stanley with it, it was and the narrator, well, all the, the narrator the laughs. Operation. Controls labeled with emotions. You got your inability Happy to control your situation. Or sad, um, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would... Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, yeah, did you? we did. After we they kept you the enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, About two minutes. Say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. So my goal is to come back. Oh, wait, I can't be heard yet. It is on. A moment of solace before okay. you're all right, I'm yeah. in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. How's I'll tell you going? exactly. Well, so far, so good. Yeah. yeah. I, I got two minutes to do nothing, so I figured I'd come chill with the audience. <laughs> of course, that was merely in this. Um, actually, he story. says I've got two minutes, but then he gives me another thirty seconds. I let you sit there in your office forever, so, pushing buttons endlessly yeah. and then dying. So this is this game's equivalent of an auto scroller. Times, this is where I go get my wa refill my water, go do whatever, I check my messages on my phone. Yeah. I had to say this. Yeah. 
this version of events has been rather amusing. Uh, <laughs> Watching you try to make sense of everything and take so, back the control I appreciate that. Rest of the rest of the way. It's quite rich. You must hate to see it go. No. no. I'm sure whatever I come up with... The 21 exit so far, version, I'm doing the 12 exit. The 21 ending version well, does run the broom, bloom, uh, the broom closet left. ending, though. But I'm enjoying this um, so which much. is... Players, because you're there for the whole narration of the narrator going, Hey, I think the guy died at the keyboard. Hey, is anyone over there? Can, can you move the corpse? <laughs> um, if they've got donations, though, they can read them. I've just got nothing to do. I'm going to turn the mic off and head back upstairs. When you saw that timer, that something in this room was capable of turning it off. I mean, look at you, running from button to button screen to screen clicking on every little thing in this room these numbered buttons no these colored ones or maybe this big red button or this door everything anything so something some here will save me why would you think that stanley 20 that this video game can be beaten one five, so and another do you five. have Thank any you very much, idea everybody. what your We're purpose donating. in this place all right you should be able to hear me again <laughs> stanley <laughs> you're in for quite a disappointment but here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away. And just to prove that you really you're can't do anything, let me go walk out here into this, and this other room. Watch you for every moment that you're powerless to see you made humble. This is not a challenge; it's a tragedy. There's another big timer right there. To control this world. And if you walk over to this door right here, he closes it on you. It the first. console here blows up. Well, shorts out. Take a look at the clock stand. That's 30 seconds. And every screen here says goodbye and play 40 seconds is your play number. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it come. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the <laughs> joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we So, in the actual speedrun, we use a source I timer, which actually splits, run. can be set up to split every load screen. But it takes the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, takes the uh, loading screen time out of the uh, equation. So you can get two, you get real time and then in game, which is handled by source timer. So up next, we're going to go to the um, red door, blue door All endings. What could it mean? Which I have named Stanley in my splits the, the red pill and the blue pill, because, you know, Matrix references, why not? And this is the other hallway you can get, which is called a long hallway, uh, which just kind of keeps going forever, Te and then it teases you at the end with the short hallway being right there. When Stanley came to a set of two open, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. All right. And it is a nice employee lounge, but you <sighs> don't yes, stay there. You just kind of walk right through it. Worth admiring, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, we're not. We're going to come back there. Remember that room. Stanley was so bad at following don't worry to the tech crew. I don't plan on walking off the stage again with the microphone. Ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've Sorry gotten about off that. on the wrong foot here. <laughs> I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. And that's, uh, so this is actually another ending he's talking about, but we're going to just different. go ahead and hop onto this catwalk. Is, what? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I mean, your track record hasn't been great, you yeah. I mean, this, but I really do want ago. to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen well, to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to this stop. ending and one of the other ones does kind of I get would, a little heavy. Uh, we would both be so heavy, much happier if we say. just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Hmm. What do we want? It does look really nice in here. What it does get a lot for? of uh, multicolored mm -hmm. lights and, look, stars. Yeah. 
Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? No, wait. Where are you going? If we just stay right here, right... Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Winding stairs. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. No! Oh, it takes no. a few tries. No, no, what are you doing, see where this is Stanley? Going. Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Because the story needs to progress. Stanley, let's go back to the other... My God. Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I just wanted us to And it does actually slow your movement down every time you I fall down the stairs. Uh, it gets... it looks like I think this is about the slowest it'll get. Well, this one is yours. Yep, that was it's going to that one. Start, isn't it? I'm going back. Now we're going to visit the blue door. Oh, wait, the phone's ringing. Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment oh, of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. <coughs> That's a lot of boxes. I think she was saying 3,127 or something like that. I mean, that's a lot of cardboard boxes. And Stanley Build, came to a set epic of box two open doors. This was that. not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Ooh. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Question for the audience. Cup, Look, clipboard, Stanley, or radio? I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Okay. I realize that investing <laughs> your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero we'll consideration for it's others? Are you one. that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why... I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Yeah, we're going through this blue one right here. I like it better. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think. Oh no, no uh, blue door. Me. Wait, it's over Stanley here. Stanley walked. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Look, nothing. You see, there's nothing here. I haven't even finished building Default the source textures. Map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new right. design, and you can give me some feedback. Yeah, the next door, we pick a number, there we go. and then... A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take Should it for the a spin. Okay, source I'm going to stop you there. Like now, that? Just tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback uh, here. We're going to go with one. They're uh, all the well, same about. I mean, I can understand if you had reservations like dialogue, you saw so... ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. 
Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's one, three, and five look. are basically all about the same of, what am I supposed to do with that? You didn't give me any valuable data. Now, and this one, it doesn't matter so much. So. Leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors. Let's Again, give it a one also. honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, yeah. and now would be and a this one is kind of interesting. Give it some play um, he'll explain it here in a you second. Mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. And to win his game that he's got here, you do have to play it for the whole four hours. Left We're not going to do that. That'd be you way too long for a marathon. Move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. We're just going to stand I here and watch watch things happen. Really take notice, but of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. We're not going to take any notes. You heartless. Bastard! <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Hey, turn up the lights. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Hi, I'm Media Magnet. Welcome to my Minecraft well, 80% speedrun. any better? <laughs> At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? <laughs> Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Unfortunately, Stanley. I can't I'm jump and wander off on him. I'm kind of house. stuck in this little <laughs> block. Apparently, Stanley can't block, jump a meter in the air, which, yeah. no. I mean, makes yeah. sense. And then, uh, Steve is very, a very unique of a person. Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes. <laughs> It's complete. I made this stand. Excuse me, sorry. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Let's get stuck on this door. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? And it as, you know, everyone in Minecraft yes, starts out with, the best we idea they have is to cover everything in diamonds. Diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. There's like three or four My different caves you can go into, like and it doesn't matter which one you dark. fall into. You it's a night. I'm going to take you to the same place. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. If you listen, you'll hear something a spider and a zombie creep up on you too while you're in the dark. This won't do at all. One out of five. There's Even the spider. The diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Yeah, spider left. I'm sorry, I meant portal, not Minecraft, by the way. <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. Oops. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Oh, really? No, I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I hope we have time for another donation. Oh, yeah. All right, so we got another donation from the Axeman of $50. It says, thanks for giving me a great excuse to hit my first MAGFest event. Got to donate to this great cause. What's the name I should enter in the Crystalis Rando? No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. <laughs> I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more. 
And what we're looking at here is the original, well, once I fall down this other pit, is the original map for the Stanley Parable. It used to be a um, mod for Half-Life 2. And now we're in that, that map, which is kind of nice, kind of cool of uh, developers of this game to sneak the old map back into it as one of the endings you have to take. So you walk back through here. Um, it was this dark in the original game, so I can't do too much about that. You walk around this corner here into the original office for Stanley, and then you turn around and the narrator takes back over. And there we go. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything got up in the, the, the end and it sends out of the chaos hard, hard and fear and quotes. confusion. Ending That's in the game. who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Yeah, well, we don't want to wait too long, or that would not be fun. There it is. Apparently, the end is loading. Um, it just never seems to fully load. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So again, we're going to go over here to the left, walk to the lounge, this walk out the other door. This was not to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly and well. And instead of getting on the left, we're going to do something a little, little bit different. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Soon. We'll be going there soon. Don't worry. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired. And here's the second hardest ending in the game. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> Now we're going to go into the escape Even ending. now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? Uh -huh. He could no longer recall. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he coming to a staircase, and Stanley we'll walked upstairs to his boss's office. Here shortly, it's a lot of just nothing in the game. A lot of stair climbing. Here's the door. All right, feel free. Yeah. Sorry. Just backtracking here anyway to go back to our uh, door near our office. Okay, and we're going to turn here and then we'll. We're now leaving. So we have to climb up a lot of stairs. This poor Stanley guy, though, he's rather beat up. I mean, he 
mean, he's fallen off of things a couple times. He's um, done a lot of walking, that's for sure. I wish I could make him run, but I can't. I can only make him duck. Escape pod launch bay. Yay. Now leave this silly office. Good. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's cool. You know we actually never touched, touched the escape pod. We just kind of got near it and then it loaded. Just a step through this door we're still back up to the, uh, to the That's all I need. Out the other if door, I can make it through this door, left, I, I can make it through the Where that wood board level was labeled escape. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, Yet there's two different not a versions of the 12X and even the 21X. That one saves and no saves. saves. Stanley I, decided I run to no go saves where you have to go back office. to the you start from the, to a your office every time you Stanley want to do something. Upstairs um, to his the boss's office. saves version you can uh, use the saves every every like fork in the road, and you just reload that save. And Here's the door. Just go. Let's just jump around a lot, a lot quicker. Well, I like the the ran some of the, seeing some of the random different texture swaps that they do in the early part of the game, so I like doing the no-saves. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door of the red mind control over facility. Here. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. It's definitely, uh... Understand the door there. behind him was not shut. Stanley Normally still in this, had every um, opportunity to no turn saves, around and saves, get back on well, track. Well, no saves, you can't reload the game. At this point, uh, but for this Stanley ending, you actually have to reload after to a certain some forward. Some dialogue and happens, you have to reload and start over, or else you'll just sit there staring at a blank screen. So in uh, my splits for this game, I call this uh, ending Get Good Lost During the Tour, because in the early first couple couple times I was playing this, this game, I actually managed to get lost in this museum that we're about to go through. This is the museum ending, which has a whole bunch of stuff about all of the early development of this version of the game. And if you ever play this, it's definitely come down here and take a look. It's a whole bunch of neat stuff in here. Perhaps his death was of no great loss by plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Fair enough, Stanley. Those are some big uh, squishy things. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley <coughs> would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making Fantastic life doors. the same. Do you, see now? Here again also. Do you Just, see you that know, Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? The concepts of the office, the early concept of the freedom ending outside. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to, to destroy the game one another. Off. How they yeah. wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? 
Can you see how much they need one another? Lights went out, so no. the game must be turned off, Perhaps right? Perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move well, I mean, forward, there you'll be is, someone but... else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Squish. And that's the only reload that you're supposed to do in the game. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps And if you were wondering started, what was down the stairs, what we're about to find out. After. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door. And after and this left. ending is my favorite, and possibly everyone who's played this game's favorite ending, the confusion ending. Which has the eventual line there in it, which not is a some single really person awesome here music. either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might come into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. This is the uh, madness ending that we're on, which is slightly but different Stanley from confusion just because it's do it. he considered Stanley the possibility of facing his boss. Going crazy and not he the had narrator. left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, That's a why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of so existence there's an exit, in a single but as you're room noticing, these rooms no are the all. same. None of it made any Four logical rooms. sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. Also another nice For example, picture. why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close yep, no automatically behind him wherever he well, went? You know, this is a typical and first person matter, game, so these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! I, I really want to know how they got this car down here. This that's, is all a dream. That's kind of impressive. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. I mean, I His don't see a door big enough down here. The he wasn't going to elevator doesn't look big enough. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought and to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, and I did discover something. Um, when he starts floating here, you kind of just keep walking. But I found out if I put my, if I bump my head on a door frame, it forces me back down to the ground early. And it too appeared. It was Which, so and much the fun. walking is a little bit easier to control than uh, that he had still not floating. <laughs> How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Oh, now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm strange. dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this Probably voice was to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. 
Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, <laughs> it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Oh look, these same four rooms again. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. And that was a horrible noise. <laughs> this is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Seems like a good re response. Turn and run away. And not actually call for help like you were planning to do. All right, and now for the confusion. All co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Well, walk, walk, Perhaps walk he had door. simply missed a memo. Donations, feel free to read them. When Stanley came to a set of two open, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the foot, but eager to get back to business. Stanley now took we're the first to open door right on his left. We're going to go to. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. And we're going to go downstairs. Again. Everything, everything cool helped him happen. But Stanley yes. didn't want to go back to the office. He downstairs. wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... From here, it's um. Oh no! Door open no, really it's to the right. Quick and shut, and then I just have to jot over here. No, and then no, 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 not the right. The narrator gets lost Why his own notes for a few seconds while I wait for this. What right. was to open I up. thinking? It's clearly. Oh dear! Would you hold on for a minute, please? Now let's see. We went down right, left, down. Left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is <laughs> absolutely, definitely this way. Oh, look, this room again. This no, for a very no, different no, angle. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Employee oh, 404 kidding. is found, it's unfortunately. It's now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. <laughs> oh, All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. And now there's uh, 12 doors. This is getting when out of hand. Stanley, 
Wait. Wait, what? I mean, there's not all. No, I'm... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... <laughs> oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere, or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute all ago. All right, do we have some time for a donation? All right, so we got a donation okay. from Stump. $25, Go, thank you very much. Let's find Stump here. Story. Wish I could be there too. Let's make sure we validate the entire marathon by opening the validation chest. I'm guessing it would have to be rupees. Also, much love to the tech ops. <laughs> And now we're walking in circles again, but at least there's a little bit more variation to these rooms. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. <laughs> I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. And instead of six doors, there's going to be no doors this time. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Door frames, the uh, killer of many of my runs of this game. That and the file cabinets. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way <laughs> and retrace our steps. Now this, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? You can't even walk out of this place. Well, you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Yeah, Congratulations! I said, I know you've it out. Hard work. And it really paid the off. Just cutting in Good and out. job. Yeah. Oh no, no, I don't feel right about this at all. We I, I hear it now, but it just dies every for that randomly. Win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. <laughs> And now for the best music right. in the game. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That would have been weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Cut the music, go back and look at that fern. Wait, no, I'm good. We're, we're back at the office? No. No, no. Best music Mine. in the game, though. You Just do wish know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of the... Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, 
After everything Apparently one we've of the through, employees, um, oh, four six, anymore, to hell with it. whatever, Restart. four six four and a half is a pirate. <laughs> the name up there says pirate. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Ah, the fun part. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new also, story. I'd like to point out that no if you look at the subtitles, the uh, Just don't line is a trademark. It, should be fine. it pops up a lot. Just don't acknowledge it, trademark. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. So you're sharp noise How at the important end of this we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Thanks. Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, <laughs> this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I don't want to forget yeah, what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. Currently I won't on the fourth do it. I won't the do it. Ending. Ending. That's where the and the time return stopped. Does that mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um, whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I like can point, uh, point out that the narrator is the one who made this I guess ending, now we just wait. He forgot he you did. know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite yeah. sure if we're yeah. in the destination Wonder. or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... <laughs> Sorry about the noise. <laughs> that was part of the game. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. And that was the end of the confusion ending. When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've got a little bit of 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 a little b
I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need... Yeah, if you try to walk towards the elevator, the he spawns a brick wall and stops you. Okay, there we go. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. Have you noticed I'm not I'm trying moving to get myself, you to see he's something. slowly inching me come towards inside. the door. Let me show you what's really going on here. But watch, if I try to leave... Sorry, but you're in my story ball. now. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. If you notice, every time I press a key, things change around here. And every button that he pushes is I'll a reminder of the inconsequential here. nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face so of the Well, this guy, this is cycling through the, the to press the key here. We do have a Discord available terribly. if you want to look more into the speedrun. So, um, he went further. So if you go to speedrun.com slash TSP, that'll get you to our page there. And that he could go through either. And there's a link, a whole bunch of guides, last, and... Choice. It the barely fun stuff. even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, yeah, tell he began to fill it with many possible apart, paths like, and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again and then again. And again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, me. all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets the more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly Don't killing worry, that himself. that clock's not accurate. That's definitely not the right time. To me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't, not in the way I want him to. 
but I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. That's and I tried all again, this. and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. And Stanley pushed a button. And now we're coming up on the last inning of the game. Um, I'll let you know when uh, time is up, so as a heads up, All it'll, of this it'll still be a few minutes gone. away. But what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. The Perhaps he had here. simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every so decision. So it looks like there's not another branch off of this path, but there is me. very much a, uh, path, a branch here. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. Oh, no, 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 you can't. Did you just unplug the phone? I'd like to point out phone? that the phone, while that wasn't is supposed just a phone, that doesn't do normally need power, is plugged you into a power outlet to get chose incorrectly. Signal. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No. It's definitely here, clear as day. So no Stanley picks phone. up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. It's not picking not up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices, and to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity here, of the situation? The situation. So kind well, of I like won't have that kind of risk on code. my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also catchy. be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Two plus four equals five. Allow the maps. person to finish their thought, mm -hmm. then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Excellent. Making choices on a regular <laughs> basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making like process. Yeah. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? 
And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually a, uh, meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. And everything's you may gone have crazy noticed in here. that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, you we're going like to revisit the choice you made just a few minutes ago and here. see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. We can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Apparently the penalty for falling off of there is death. Just noticed that. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley well, came to a set door, of two open right door doors, again. he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Which actually we had to go back in there to get part of the uh, ending sequence to trigger here. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you, my story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, Chris would it be worth it? Closet. To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? Here's another interesting I one. Can't erase Synergize that papers. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live Apparently that way. Apparently the papers are too is synergized. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. That's even more broken now. Oh, I'm, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. I've actually gotten stuck. My entire game was destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say really, to do there's something, so there's a damn good there. reason for it. And something's that like thought fire. hadn't hmm. even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left.
Something is going on. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Who else is green in here this time? Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. This game did not it. come with any Surely kind of voice behind this door lay so all the answers to here. his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Hmm, what if I could? But I can't, so I shan't. <clears throat> They want Stanley you to say it out loud. The code. <laughs> Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. I mean, it won't do anything. Night Shark 115, see? Door didn't open. I'm sorry, is there a problem? Yeah. You, know, I walk you didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code you have into to hit the a receiver. On there too. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. That, uh, okay, fine. You're not gonna do it, but you know what? Look, shelf looks it's right pretty humiliating you. to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. I you did. could have done you whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door. And this is kind of the saddest ending of the game. Because Stanley just stands there without your input. Stanley? Hello? Are you... And time is coming up here quickly, so. Ready on the button. We'll see what happens when I hit finish. Time. And time. 116.55. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm.